All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Akeem, and welcome to this vlog. Here to give you another individual preview for week six of this season. Headed over in the Big Ten Conference, and this is going to be a major showdown and possibly a preview of the Big Ten Championship at the end of this season. As number four, Michigan is hosting number eight, Wisconsin. A battle of a good offense for Michigan and a great defense for Wisconsin, who's been holding it down for the Badgers for the first three games of their season. Big win in the first week against LSU. And even last week, this is going to be an interesting matchup for Wisconsin. They had a big game and a big win over Michigan State, holding them to just six points with a 30-6 to victory. While Michigan's been using a lot of weapons offensively and getting things done, averaging over 30 points per game. And I think they had a 61-point victory over... Um, with their opponent last week, this is going to be a good battle between these two teams, and Michigan does have the home field advantage. Now let's talk about Wisconsin. I mentioned their defense, led by um, um lineman T.J. Watt, the younger brother of J.J. Watt. This is going to be a good battle because Watt is actually leading the Big Ten with four and a half sacks so far in the season. He can make all Big Ten selection come towards the end of the year. Possibly defensive player of the year honors. But I'm getting not getting a little bit too ahead of myself in that one. But I think this is going to be a great player um, um, for the Wisconsin Badgers for the next couple of seasons. Now, they do have been doing a great job defensively. Offensively, though, a little bit struggling in their ground attack. They even struggled last week against Michigan State and even against Georgia State in the 23-17 victory. They're going to have to do a better job running the football just to take pressure off of quarterback. Um, Hornerbrook, who has been um doing okay job, just 150 yards uh, over 150 yards a game, not looking too good passing the football. Needs to do a better job being more effective. But it really boils down to the ground attack, and that's pretty really, really pretty much sets the tone for Wisconsin Badger offense. Now for Michigan, like I said, they've been using a lot of weapons. An Amara Darbo, um, um, Jake Butts, their leading receivers, and they've been using a trio of running backs like Ty Heisig and lead, leading running back Davion Smith. And Wilton Spreit's been doing a great job um, throwing the football 875 yards in the air and just one interception compared to nine touchdown passes. Been doing a great job leading the offense, whom I actually believe that John O'Corn was going to start at the helm in the beginning of the season. But Spate did earn the start and not, and I understand why uh, Coach Jim Harbaugh went with this decision. I think this was the right decision, as we've seen. He's been doing a great job with the numbers. Now, I think for the key for the... um um. For the Wisconsin, for the um, Michigan Wolverines, offensively, just keep doing what they're doing, using fresh legs, changing the scenery a little bit, and their offensive weapons. And I think this this will definitely affect and tear down that Wisconsin defense. Now, for defensive unit for on um, the Wolverines, I really think they just need to just stop the run. Put the pressure on the on the opposing quarterback, and they will be just fine. And I think with that being said, and because they have a little bit more, a lot more talent on the offensive side, I have to go with Michigan in this one. And they do have the home field advantage. But we will see. Wisconsin did surprise me with that that only allowing just six points to Michigan State. They could do the same against Michigan, but I think that the defense is still going to hold it down, but not enough against that um. Michigan offense. Might have to go with Michigan over Wisconsin, but this is going to be a close battle. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple minutes. I have one more blog to talk about, my game of the week. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.